confirmation that a prolific serial killer did in fact stalk Metro Atlanta more than 40 years after Fulton County Police found a strangled woman's body. Investigators are now linking that murder to Samuel Little. Joe Hankey talked with Fulton County detectives who confirmed Little's confession. Jeff Samuel Little has confessed to a total of 93 murders across the country. According to the FBI, they say they believe all of his confessions. Samuel Little says they took place over 35 years. Investigators over the past year have been able to officially link 50 of those murder cases across the country to Little, including now a murder of a Georgia woman in 1977. In February, the FBI released this sketch saying it is the work of convicted murderer Samuel Little and his memory of one of his 93 victims. Little gave investigators drawings of many of his victims and he described this one as a white woman and offered specifics about her height, weight, clothing, job and said she was around 28 years old and from Griffin. Today, Fulton County Police confirmed they linked Little's confession and drawing to the 1977 murder of Leanne Helms. Little had more than a dozen run-ins with police over his lifetime, including here in Georgia, but he was never convicted of murder anywhere until 2014. He's now serving three consecutive life sentences for murders in California. It is from prison that Little has been sharing drawings of his victims, which the FBI describes as mostly sex workers or drug addicts. In prison, Little has also been giving confessions of each murder to Texas Ranger James Holland, who interviewed Little almost yeah, daily. I parked the car facing out where I could see anybody coming in. So I, I pulled him out of the car. Fulton County Police have now confirmed Helm's body was found in 1977 near Union City in the intersection of Oakley Road and Oakley Industrial Boulevard. By email, a county detective told 11 Alive on June 27, 1977, upon arrival, officers were met by the 911 caller. He is with the Department of Transportation and was working in the area. He had stopped work to eat lunch and had walked back into the woods to use the bathroom when he found the body. Three days later, Helm's cause of death was determined to be strangulation. Recently, Fulton County detectives sent a picture of Helm's to Little, and he confessed to murdering her. And Fulton County police tell me they have talked with Helm's family about this investigation and are now working with the district attorney to move forward with prosecuting this case. But I'm told with Little already serving multiple life sentences and having confessed to 90 plus murders across the country, it is unlikely we will see him brought here to Georgia to face those charges.